interesting match because normally, you know, we see that Samus, we see that normal projectile play, that Zona gameplay, but Shulk he isn't quite a swordsman, which I get sounds weird, but trust me, it makes sense. The fact that Shulk has such long startup means that they really do have to commit to a solid game plan. They can't just throw out their sword willingly because they will eat a projectile. They have to read, they have to preempt. Don't get me wrong, they are rewarded with a fantastic amount of damage as Robbie goes for a double nair into an up tilt. Buster is active, gets into 64. Instead, Rambos choosing to buy his time, buy a bit of space. Small battlefield, not the smallest map. Let you not be fooled. As speed comes out, Robbie trying to close a little bit of distance. Back air's not coming out, but instead goes for the crouch. Tries to just wait out a little bit of what Rambos wants to do. Falling there into an up air, sends him up. Oh, we're going to see a smash. There it is. Can we get an up tilt instead? Playing it nice and safe. Cancels out of the smash because he saw the approach coming. We've got jump, not quite necessary, but still all the while useful in repositioning himself. Gathering stage control which against someone like Samus is incredibly useful. Up um, special out of shield, not quite as useful with, against someone with such a strong out of shield as Samus, as Smash return once again. Shield is coming out to get him back safely, not be affected by those crash bombs. Suddenly sorted out, forces himself onto the platform, falling there, sends him out, air dodge is perfect, but the air slash out of shield is even better right now. Rambos trying to catch him, but instead a jump is answered. Robbie has something for everything Rambos might want, as a falling fair covers every possible angle. Just keeping him at ledge, Robbie just needs to find a kill now. The forward isn't going to do it, but Rambos finding himself a little bit of space right now. Trying to mix him up, forcing him to shield. Instead, an air slash goes for the trump. Air dodge back to the stage. Robbie not quite ready for it, but instead, a forward tilt immediately interrupted. Smash is here once again. There it is, air splash out shield. And now Robbie resets. A free charge from Rambos off of the Angel platform means that Robbie could soon succumb to death. Forward air coming out. Robbie going to find a way back. Jump going to make it nice and easy for him. And instead, an early shield actually going to keep him alive. But the air slash was just enough to kill him. Instead, Rambos looking to seal the deal in style. A bit of a down there. Misses the tech onto the platform as well. And now Robbie, once again, if he can keep the momentum he has had, he has the lead in the first stock. It's all on Rambos to find a way back right now. A couple of Zairs coming out, just a couple of projectiles trying to force a jump. Rambos right now trying to force a commitment from Robbie, trying to make him go for an insane, insane early, early nair or an early fair or even a back air. But Robbie just not falling for it. Buster is here just to try and equalize a bit of the damage in the neutral, but Robbie's still looking pretty, pretty healthy. Jump comes out, immediately caught by the up special. And that's a big commitment from Rambos as down there comes out. Start to read a lot of Robbie's drift patterns. As dash tech comes out, staying grounded. There's the smash, perfectly caught. And you can see right there, I will hone this until the day I die. Runoff platform aerials are so good. And you can see why. So little lag, so little commitment. A great option. Robbie catching Rambos so early with a smash art forward air. And now Rambos on the back foot trying to find something. Buster is active, gonna peter out. And it's just a little bit of zoning gameplay. Robbie thinking he had the nair there instead. Rambos holding firm, air dodge on the platform, keeping him safe as the up special comes out, sends him up. 175, there's the shield. Up air not going to do it because of Robbie's reactions. And don't get me wrong, Rambos in a very good position right now, mixes him up with the jab. What an insane, insane call out from Rambos. As now, tables not quite turned, but instead, Let's see if he can make it work. Caught out of the air with a grab. Shield coming out just to avoid it. Very rare counter from Shulk. You very, very rarely see that mid-air because it's just not a very well-coded ability, to be honest. Normally you'll see it grounded, but instead Robbie recognizing it can be used right now. Buying a bit of time with the Nair. Speed coming out. Doesn't have a whole lot of ground to maneuver. It's Rambos angling his shield, trying to avoid any potential shield pokes. And these two just mixing each other up. Rambos reading the short hop from Stalk. That's the one I was looking for as the up throw comes through. Knows it's not going to be that high with the shield as well. 
Rambos trying to find a way out. Smash is here. This could be it if the Doofy Hand comes through. Is there Rambos not able to make it? Falling up there. And now we wonder who is going to get it. If Robbie can stall until he gets another smash, that could be it. But speaking of stalling, Rambos able to buy himself so much time off stage with those down Bs resetting the aerial tempo. Buy himself a bit of time. There's the grab down throw. Charges up a little bit, but Shield is here to avoid any multi-hit nonsense. Shield's still active. Without it, Robbie has no fallback. Instead, forces him off. Faints a forward air instead, makes it back to the center stage. There's the up special out of shield, not quite enough just yet. It's mono a mono, folks. Going to see who can push it all the way. Looks like a forward air from Robbie in jump. Not going to kill, but here's the smash. There's the fade back and a sigh of relief from Robbie AK-47. A swig of the cider. He leads the set 1-0. And this is where things get interesting. Ram Boss has that top player knowledge, has that top player wisdom, and never does fold in sets like this. Ram Boss insane at comebacks, insane at adaptations. And so it becomes a bout, so it becomes a showdown. Can Robbie force it all the way? Or is Ram Boss Going to readapt. Let's find out. As Robbie was able to keep it safe. Stage choice is also a factor when you're at this level. When those minute details become so, so focused. We're going to see what we come through. You can see Robbie's face. He's listening to me talk smack about this set. He's having a great time. As these two make into it. We're going to see what they go for. I can only imagine it's a run back, but possibly Robbie wants to force this, wants to dissuade anything silly like a tri -plats, like Yoshi's story. Let's see what Rambos is able to get away with. There's clearly these two really, really a lot of thought into what they can possibly get. As we wiggle that stick around, what do we got, folks? Let's find out. Going down. Going down, going down to Small Battlefield. Again, the run back. <laughs> you can never say I didn't try to make it exciting. As we do go for the run back. Actually, looks like Rambos did not feel the stage was what separated these two. Definitely not something that's common. Obviously, if you do go last hit in a situation like this, you can't blame the stage. That's simply an act of execution as we see something very interesting, folks. Take a look, take a look, take a look as Rambos locks in the Marth. A character we see so little. A character who we barely, barely get any kind of representation from. Rambos feels like he can take it from Robbie. He can outduel. This is a game of fencing, folks. And we're going to see who comes out. Marth, obviously, able to earn a lot more speed in this matchup. His frame data are a lot better, but Shulk's a lot more versatile. Let's see what we can do as already looking pretty even there. Smash going to be forced out. Dolphin Slash beating out the Smash. Fortil comes out. Tries to actually read an early air dodge there by going for a rising up air. Good call from Rambos, but instead Robbie choosing to bide his time. Tries to be the jump of the Nair instead. Rambos trying to beat him out. And I will do my best to balance play by play with analysis because I find this pick from Rambos to be fantastic. But Robbie, he's got the warm up. And Rambos is going to need a lot more if he wants to take it. Rambos clearly thought that, you know what? Robbie going for a lot of these committed disjoints. If he can go for them faster, Rambos has the experience, quote unquote, over Robbie. So maybe he's thinking, you know what? If I can just push my buttons before Robbie can, if I can recognize the same situations, but just act faster, potentially this could be game. As we see this battle of the swordsman, Rambos trying to find his way out, not able to beat through the shield of Shulk. Instead, forcing him back to the side. We'll see if we can find anything right there. Down tilt. Instead, beaten out by the get-up attack. Forced out by the forward tilt. Buster is here. Rambos going to find a kill very early. 
Up tilt out of shield will do it. 76% on the white cladded knight. Instead, Robbie got to force it, or else Rambos could eke up that damage very, very early. As he is able to force him off stage, jumps, getting back safely. There's the smash, doesn't quite eat. The retreating fair. Going to see if Rambos can hold stage control right now. Able to avoid the Nair, instead striking with his own, and manages to not only wait out the buster, wait out the smash even, but instead beat it out. The falling fair of his own dash attack, forcing him down. Down tilt to catch the tech chase. Can we get a read? Instead, Robbie goes high. Good stuff from him, but Rambos... Moving to Ali, a little bit of a menace right now. Cancels the back air just to buy himself a little bit of momentum. Down tilt, keeping Rambos so, so safe. Beating up the smash once again. There it is, forcing him out with a shield. But there's no jump to get you back safely as Rambos's clutch switch could be what forces Robbie into a bad scenario. There's the counter, able to get it grounded out of shield. Actually buys himself a nice, safe option. But he's going to need a lot more than safe if he wants to take this. An insane tech from Rambos, but you can't pay off the Reaper, man. You've got to stare him in the eyes as, alas, Robbie is able to catch the get up. Falling there takes him down, arising there as well. Shield getting back safely, but now Robbie has formed a very difficult situation. He has burnt a resource here. Buster is out by himself, a little bit of space, 33% finally overtakes Rambos. Is Rambos happy to dash dance his way out of Buster right now? Not looking to short hop. Robbie so used to playing against Samus, he is just forcing a lot of approaches through jumping. And now that Rambos playing a little bit more grounded, it's not quite something he's ready for as he forces him out, looking good, looking very good for Robbie right now. There's the smash, can we get any kind of a down there instead? Shield comes out as well, there's a grab, he's happy to go for the pounds, tries to go for a down tilt just to catch the slow momentum of Shield. Speed is here to close the distance, let's see if it's quite enough. Robbie just biding time so we can find a smash up tilt. Biding time so we can force him off stage. Find a highly committal option. But alas, Rambos has the Tex. Immediate air dodge off stage, playing space, retreating. There's the jump, smash is active. Robbie is teasing it, but he needs to know when to go for it. There it is, can we find it? Immediate air dodge, tries to read the roll, not quite enough back air, not enough either. As speed is out, he has burned smash. If Robbie wants a kill, he has to find it with a hard, hard commitment as Rambos has so, so much leeway, but instead it's Robbie dictating the pace of the match. Get up attack, perfectly beats out the down tilt, but a perfect, perfect tilt of his own. Takes him down, Robbie AK-47, 2-0. And an insane, insane switch from our friend Rambos there. What a fantastic adaptation. Picking up a character that genuinely no one saw coming. We've seen them play Lucina before, but it was always something, oh, this is my kind of pocket answer to Fox. Picking up against Shulk. So this is two different things. This is either a specific respectful answer to Robbie, which is something that's incredible in itself, or this is something that Rambos is choosing to